Hey guys, welcome back to the Planner PC Co. Show and welcome to another week of new releases. So this is very exciting. I have exclusive art for you guys plus another collab. This week is with Alicia Craft and I cannot wait for you guys to see what she did with the foil for our exclusive. Um, I'm also bringing two kits back to new releases that have been in shop because I wanted to bring them back in the ultimate format. They were our two best selling Christmas kits from last year. So I just felt like it made sense to bring them back. So new releases will go live this Friday the 20th at noon Eastern Standard Time and 25% uh, off excluding anything exclusive. So um, I do also have a monthly kit for you guys. I have changed the format just ever so slightly so let's go ahead we're gonna do this a little bit different I'm gonna do everything but the collab and I'm gonna save the collab for last so the first kit is farmhouse Christmas so this was our exclusive Christmas art from last year one of our best sellers the other kit was actually our best-selling Christmas cat it should have been exclusive but y'all just really love the other one more I guess um but yeah take a gander at the boxes this is called farmhouse Christmas did I already say that probably I don't ever remember what I said 10 freaking seconds ago but it's so cute so this is the ultimate format so if you guys didn't get a chance to pick it up last year or I feel like it came out a little bit late last year maybe I think that's what some of you had said your your lineup was already you know full whatever um or you used it last year but you want to use it again we now have the 10 page ultimate format or you're new to the shop and you had no idea this kit existed then it'll just be brand spanking new to you oh I did want to say that we do have our normal choices that we have as far as fashion girls go I just didn't want to take the time to print them all out um, I'm being lazy today okay you guys it's been a long day of trying to get all of this together and done um, but here we are so it will also be available in the older um, eight page format let's do foil colors I guess so I just feel like red glitter I think that's what I used last year if I can find it I think a mixture of red glitter and like black together would be fun but also the hunter green so this is new hunter green and red glitter or hunter green and red just regular red would be cool um let's see i think also gold gold hollow i'm losing my glasses gold hollow gold glitter i do think matte bronze could work for this one too you kind of have like some beigey in there as well um i think the silvers silver sparkly hollow silver hollow matte silver would even be nice but i think my choice red glitter the hunter green um a little black sprinkled in there i think that would be fun okay um all of your add-ons so i'm gonna do the freebies with these like I normally do so purchase the ultimate or the full kit this weekend I will throw in the double box scene here so pretty I wish that was my living room maybe not a white couch but there's three trees in that living room we do have the label add-on we've got an extra color so if you want to bring in more of the green we've got the green we've got checklists we've got patterns and then we do have a fashion option with this one you've got your tall box your two regular boxes you've got this stunning fashion girl here snow day holding some cocoa and then you're just like wrapping presents we do have our normal choices in this one here's what all of that looks like and then we have washi add-on so I don't think we had the washi I don't think I know we didn't have a washi add-on last year so I did two patterns here so you've got your color choices you've got black 
You've got the red. You've got the khaki, beige maybe. You've got the pink and then you've got your extra color with the green. So that is Farmhouse Christmas. The next one was our best selling Christmas kit last year. Y'all loved it and I do have a foil collection to go with this one in particular. I did not do a foil collection with this one last year. So this one is Mousy Christmas. And I mean, I get it. I see why y'all loved it. Take a look at these boxes. So stinking cute. I was so happy with the way this one turned out. Oh, I just think it looked so good. I was a little worried about like the colors and trying to get everything together. And I didn't really have like a normal background that I usually use. I kind of had to bring stuff in, but I was pretty impressed with myself, you know? <laughs> I think it turned out so good, so. Really love this one. I didn't get a chance to use it last year, and I don't know that I'm gonna get a chance to use it this year either. Um, there's so many good Christmas ones that have came out so far. So, let's do foil colors. This is such a good opportunity to do some really fun stuff here. I think you can't go wrong with red glitter or the red. Again, I think any of the silvers would go really good. Probably even the golds, but honestly, you gotta do fun colors. You gotta do fun colors with this one. Look at green hollow, or green glitter, or hot pink glitter, pink hollow. I think you could even do a rainbow glitter with this one. I really like the hot pink and the green mixed together. I think that would be super fun to do. Okay, purchase the ultimate or the full kit and I'm gonna throw in the double box for this weekend. Look how stinking cute. We've got labels. We do have an extra color with this one as well. Another green. This one I had a pattern to go with it, so I gave you all a pattern for the extra color. You do have your patterns here, your checklist, and then we do have a sampler. So you've got, again, tall box and two regular size boxes. So cute. It's so cute. It's so cute. And then we have washi this year. We did not have washi last year. So you've got all those solid colors. You've got the red. You've got pink. You've got blue, you've got purple, and then that extra color in the green. So that's Mousy Christmas. Let me go ahead and show you the foil collection to go with this one. So I had a foil collection in shop that was pretty good for this one, and I just kind of zhuzhed it up a little bit. I made it a little better, I feel like. Changed some things, so. Here's what we got. We just got a bunch of snowflakes and then we've got some Mickey heads. Can you see the snowflake in the Mickey head? And then this snowflake also has a little Mickey head in it. So you've got all of the snowflakes and everything over here. I feel like the format that I had had just regular finer confetti headers over here. Pretty sure it didn't have all the snowflakes. So you've just got snowflakes. So you've got little Mickey heads. You've got little bows. I did actually change the little bow out to a different bow. So you've got these two sheets. I did keep the finer confetti for the underlays because I just felt like that would be too much. I started to put that on the underlay, but I just, it was just too much. It was just too much. So you've got your two sheets of that. And here's what your washi sheet looks like so you've got the mickey head with the snowflake inside and then you've got the snowflake with the mickey head inside it <laughs> it's kind of uh what's the word i'm looking for it's kind of back and forth right mickey with a snowflake snowflake with a mickey and then you've got all of your snowflakes here you've got snowflakes in the reinforcers which i didn't do that last time and then you've got your fun headers with the mickey head snowflakes and then the bows then you have your back sheet that never changes i do also have the double box 
got the big snowflake there with the Mickey head and then your tall box has all of the stuff around the top and the bottom so that was that now let's go into the monthly kits so like I said I changed it just ever so slightly and it was just this right here that's all that changed I had been wanting to bring some of these squared off boxes to the kit and uh, if you would remember we had like circles and then little teeny tiny checklists I found myself never using the checklist and barely using the circles in the way that I thought I would so I really wanted to bring these I think I'm gonna love these a whole lot more and I hope that you guys do too so we have one two three four five six of those but here is what um, the first sheet looks like this is our custom art from last week this was our collab with Leonard design so it is the 2024 artwork your sidebars look like this. I had to bring in the doggo. And then we do have the bill do add on for this one. So, um, if you order the printable, you guys, there's a whole page. I think somebody asked about a whole page of bill do's last time. There's a whole page of them in the printable. So, um, all right, let's get to our collab. All right, so. I, there was art put out for this theme a couple of years ago, but I never used it. And I just wanted to bring our own, our own art to the shop. I'm just so happy with the way this turned out. This one is called Kevin and I just love it. My artist absolutely killed it. I love Home Alone. I've already watched it this year <laughs> because I had to get ideas. I was literally LOLing at these two. The two um, scenes that I chose for them to be, he's got the iron on his face. Look how good they are. And then we went with the house at night because it's just too pretty to not do all lit up, right? And then, of course, you've got Kevin. He's screaming putting on the aftershave um you guys i there were so many characters i know i could have used for this kit but i just felt like it's just these three right it's these three that make the movie what the movie is it's these three and all the shenanigans so that's what i wanted this kit to be is just all the booby traps and the shenanigans of things you've got his battle plan you've got the movie um, angels with filthy souls you've got the firecrackers his bb gun you've got the ornaments that he put in front of the window that he walked on um, you've got the fan with some feathers flying around you've got one of the paint cans you've got the iron you've got the tarantula and then over here was his meal that he had made himself macaroni and cheese and milk before all of the shenanigans was about to go down and then of course you've got your keep the change a filthy animal so I am obsessed I love this so stinking much I hope you guys do too um had to include this scene I was watching this a couple months ago when I was making the mood board and just I again lol'd the face that he made after he dropped it it was just so good I was like I have to put that scene in there so um, I'm well aware that there was a kit with this theme that came out last week, but I feel like they're two different artists. They're two different vibes. They're both great in their own way, and I feel like the other one was very character heavy, and mine is not as character heavy. Like, they're just two totally different kits, even though it's the same movie. So, I'm happy that that happened. Um... But yeah, um, oh, and it's just like the little details too. So, you guys, this pattern right here is the, let's see, there's another pattern too that's part of it. This pattern is the wallpaper that's in the house, in the foyer and going up the staircase. And then this pattern is the pattern that's on his toboggan. Right here. So... Just wanted to include those two little details. I think little little touches like that make the kit even more special. I think these colors are fun. It's like traditional. Pretty traditional, I feel like, for a Christmas kit. Um, 
I just love it. I hope you guys do too. So, um, the foil collection is all Alicia Craft. The um, kit, of course, will be in our shop. All of the foil will be in her shop. Um, hers, or, um, shoot, I can't even talk. Her foil collection will also go live Friday in her shop, but I'm going to show you my choices for um, the foil collection using colors that she has in her shop. So I think um, red glitter, obviously, or just solid red would be good. I think, um, let's see, what else do I have? I think matte bronze would work with it. Um, all of the silvers, I think matte silver would be good. Silver hollow. She does also have a silver pixie, which is what we used to have. It's like the finer confetti. Silver hollow. Um, and then just silver. I think all of the golds will look great. So here's gold with it. Here's gold. Does she have gold glitter? I swear I looked at this before I came on here. Let's see. One momento. Um, I know. Let's see. She had. I know she has gold hollow. I really like gold hollow with this kit. Um, and she. I'm pretty. Yes, I'm pretty sure she had the gold glitter. I'm gonna look though and make for certain. But she does have one called Champagne, Champagne Lights. That is the finer, like the silver pixie. It's like a gold pixie. Um, that would be fun with it too. Let me get on her website really quick. Fairly certain that I am for sure she has gold glitter. So it's just a chunkier glitter. Um, no, I was wrong. What? Oh, okay. It's sparkly hollow and silver pixie dust that she has that was the two I, one was chunky and one was finer so she has a champagne lights it's technically this color it's just not as chunky it is the finer confetti like a, a pixie i really like gold hollow i think gold hollow and red glitter together would be really fun for this one so that is my picks from what she has from her shop which i don't feel like there's too many like extra foil colors that I have that she don't have that would go like this is pretty much would be my picks out of my own foil stash too so um let's go over all of the extras so purchase the ultimate or the full kit and I'm going to throw in the double box scene it is the scene there in the living room where he comes through the window we do have labels we've got patterns We've got checklists, and we have the cutest tall box that there ever freaking was. Look how adorable he is. So, I, again, was watching the movie, and it was the end, and I just thought how stinking cute he was in his little pajamas and his little robe, and he runs down the stairs, and he thinks everybody's home, you know, and his mom comes in, and he's like mean mugging her, and then, you know, he turns and he gives her that cute little smile. I was like, we have to put that in there. And, y'all, I went back and forth about putting his mom in here, because I feel like she is kind of a big part of the movie, too. Um... And it's pretty iconic when she screams out his name, right? But again, I just felt like these three were the main characters in all of the things that went down. So I'm happy with the way it turned out. All right. We've got a solid and a pattern here. So we've got your navy. We've got green. We've got yellow mustard. Um, and then I threw in the pattern off of his... Um, toboggan if you wanted to use that pattern but that is the kit in full but let's get into the foil because it is fun and I probably need to leave the kit out so she designs it in a way that it goes over specific boxes and it just makes so much sense so I am so happy to be collabing with Alicia again she just comes up with some fun stuff that I I would not have put this stuff together so all of your boxes here are laid out exactly where they're gonna go so this one goes over Harry here and it fits perfectly that the lots 
or on each side of the um, fire here. And then it said, why the heck did you take your shoes off? You know that scene where they're asking each other? He just came in and stepped on the ornaments and uh, he's been feathered up. And so then the same over here, you've got the lights, you've got a couple feathers and then he says, why the heck are you dressed like a chicken? <laughs> So funny. And then for the double scene, we've got lights all across the top. We've got some snowflakes falling. You've got the wet bandits van parked out front. And then you've got him like ready to, for the shenanigans to go down waiting outside. So, so cute. And then for your bottom boxes here, you've got some stuff in the corners. It's got a little bit of everything. You've got the BB gun. You've got the van. You've got the feathers, the fan, the tarantula, and then for here, same, um, pretty much the same. You've got a lot of stuff around, but then she threw in some extra feathers there that go in between the feathers that are already there. And then for this box, she did a Kevin. Cute. And then for this one, we've got, again, extra feathers to go around the feathers that are already there. And then she's got keep the change, you filthy animal. So that works perfectly all right this is the second page so this box right here is going to go over this one you've just got some feathers and some snowflakes that are falling down around him and then this one merry christmas your filthy animal is going to be good if you purchase the ultimate kit and you've already got two patterns so this is going to work well over look how pretty that would be over the navy there I think the gold hollow works really well with this one. Um, or if you purchase the um, the pattern add-on. So there's that. And then let's see, you've got a bunch of deco. And then you've got all of these fun headers here. All right. And then these underlays are super cool. I uh, see, I would not have thought to do this for an underlay. It is the battle plan. Can y'all tell that? How fun is that? I love it. Okay, and then your last two pages here, you've got your washi, okay. You've got all of your numbers. You've got some little bows and twinkle here. You've got like the dividers. You've got a weekend banner. You've got two flags, and then you've got all of your washi. So she's just got all of like the deco pieces and lights and then like the confetti down below and then this page is fun too so we've got a tall box and a double box so your tall box has got the lots and then you're done <laughs> this is funny this is funny when I was putting this over so you've got lots in the corners you've got feathers floating around and then she's made it where the little tarantula is resting on this seat right here <laughs> Clever, Alicia. Clever. I just love it. So then you have your whole reinforcers. You've got some swoops. You've got some more swoops. And then even more deco. And then these are like just cut out um, quotes. It says, a lovely cheese pizza just for me. Um, you guys give up or are you thirsty for more? Look what you did, you little jerk. And then, is this toothbrush approved by the American Dental Association? So, so fun. There's so many quotes in there. I love what she did with that. And I think, I think we make a great team, Alicia. I really do. We've already committed to doing another one together. So, you guys be on the lookout for that one. So, there you go. That's what I got for new releases this week. I hope you guys like them. Like I said, they will go live this Friday at noon Eastern Standard. Um, the foil bundle will go live this Friday also in Alicia's shop. The kit will be in my shop. And uh, yeah, let me know what you're most excited about, what you plan on picking up, and I hope to see you in the shop on Friday. I will talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.